Hello everyone, Brittany here from VivaciousViews.com. In today's video, we are headed into the Cherokee Mountains of North Carolina to the Harris Cherokee Casino Resort to review the new Gaffietti Kitchen and Bar. We are so excited to show you guys the new eats that they have and take you guys around the resort and show you the other good eats that Harris Cherokee Resort has to offer. If you missed our last video, I'll put that link in the description below. We came out to the Harris Cherokee Casino Resort and reviewed the new Cherokee Tower Rooms. We also took you guys around the resort and showed you some other fun that you can have while staying here. So be sure to check out that link in the description. We're going to start our Good Eats tour at the food court of the resort. There is an Earl of Sandwich, there is a Johnny Rockets, there is an Uno Pizzeria, and there is also a Dunkin' Donuts. Here you'll find all kinds of snacks as well, candy, cereal, granola bars, any kind of munchy snacks that you would like you can find over here as well. We typically go for the French dip sandwich from the Earl of Grey restaurant, which we absolutely love. We get it on every trip. It is so good. We highly recommend it. We get this not only at the Earl of Grey here in Cherokee, but when we head to Disney World, we get this at the Earl of Grey in Disney Springs as well. over to another favorite of ours is the Wicked Weed Brewing. This little restaurant has two bars. It also has a walk-up bar that you can go up to and we've eaten here several times. The food is delicious. There are lots of craft beers you can choose from if you're a craft beer drinker. We have tried the buffalo wings with the house style ranch. We've had these several times, they're always good. The low country egg rolls are amazing. And last time we were there, we had the bison sliders with bacon jam, pimento cheese, and bread and butter pickles. Oh, it was so good, guys. I highly recommend stopping in here for a quick bite or even for a drink. And now on to another favorite of ours, the Noodle Bar. This place, oh my gosh, I ate here. The very first time we came to Cherokee, the first restaurant I came to was to have this duck. And I still dream about this duck. It is super, super tender, so juicy. The sauce that they use on it with that bok choy and then the rice, it falls apart in your mouth. It is absolutely delicious. Steven also loves the dumplings. He gets the dumplings every time we come to the noodle bar, which I can't hate on him for. Those are also really tasty. The next stop on our Good Eats tour is the Brio Tuscan Grill. We have eaten here almost every time that we've come to Cherokee because this is Steven's absolute favorite. We've had the beef carpaccio, we've had the eggplant and shrimp, We've had the spaghetti bolognese. Oh gosh, the list goes on and on. We try something different every time we come here and every time it amazes us. Definitely a must try. There are many other eats to try, including Ruth's Chris, the Salou Garden Cafe, and there are two Starbucks locations on property. I'll put the link to all these good eats that you can find down in the description below. So if you want to check out their menus or see what time you can eat there, definitely check that out. And now we're super excited to tell you about the new Gordon Ramsay Food Market that will be coming soon here in 2022. We will be headed back up to review this food market and give you all the juicy details. So stay tuned. And now let's head to the Gaffy Yeti Cherokee Kitchen and Bar. I am so excited about this. Here's an overlook of the bar area that is also shared with the lobby. You can find the Gaffy Yeti Kitchen and Bar in the Cherokee Tower. Let's take a look at their menu before we head into the restaurant. Good. 
big shout out to Harris Cherokee and Caesars Entertainment for inviting us out to try this new restaurant. We are so excited. fans. We watch the guys' grocery games, diners, drive-ins, and dives, and we're currently watching Tournament of Champions, so for us, this was so much fun to come and eat here. We did order the lobster lollipops. They were so good. Highly recommend. this cheesy goodness I want to bottle up and take home with me. Let's try a lobster lollipop. Giving Steven these peppers. I'm not a pepper person. Oh, oh, my batter came off. Oh, look at that big piece of lobster. Oh, Steven ordered the Jack Daniels New York Strip with loaded mashed potatoes and asparagus. And I ordered the boneless ribeye 16 ounce with smoked street corn and I got the lobster mac and cheese. This mac and cheese was so yummy. It had that perfect cheesy crust on top with the large chunks of lobster inside. Mmm, gosh, it was so good, you guys. And look at the inside of this ribeye. Mm. Medium rare, how you have to get your ribeye. And that is the peppercorn sauce that we ordered. I think it was $2 extra and definitely worth all the $2 that you could spend getting that extra peppercorn sauce to dip everything that you have into it. So tasty. Here is the dessert menu. We didn't have room on this trip because we just ordered so much food and it was so yummy. Look at all this food that we had to take back to the room with us. Oh my gosh, it was so much food left over, which I will never complain about. I, I love having a leftover meal to eat, especially at a casino, so I can go back to the room and nibble later. This meal was fantastic. We even brought the peppercorn sauce back to the room with us for future dipping. That sauce was so good. Later on in the night, we were able to come by the restaurant when it was closed to give you guys a really good view of the atmosphere at Guy Fieri's Kitchen and Bar. It is such a gorgeous restaurant and we really enjoyed that right outside the restaurant was a river view with a gorgeous river and we enjoyed the sunset. It was an amazing experience. Thank you again, Harris Cherokee and Caesars Entertainment for inviting us out. We had so much fun and it was such a delicious meal. I highly recommend you guys coming and checking out not just the Guy Fieri restaurant, but everything that the Harris Cherokee Resort has to offer. Once again, that link to the resort is in our description below. Please check that out and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be headed back up here to review the Gordon Ramsay food market here soon. So you don't want to miss that. Thank you guys for watching.